Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Here we go again. I had to grab something out of the old collection. You know, get ready for the holidays and son's birthday this weekend, so I gotta let go of some of my uh my toys here, man. And good God I've had to let go of a lot of them this past year. Well anyway, this is a new box that I just acquired maybe a month ago. It's brand spanking new. I haven't even keyed the box up till now. And this box is fully loaded. It is a 4 DEI 2290 base amplifier with a regulated supply in the bottom of it. Pretty unique how they put everything in it. That's one reason I was kind of wanting to hold on to it, just to use it for reference. Because I like the way they was able to fit everything, and the way they fit it to where the air flows, still flows through everything. And um, neat thing about this amp is it is regulated AB biased. It is regulated AB biased. So when you flip this sideband switch on here, it is regulated AB biased, okay? And the neat, neat thing about the preamp, which I don't know why they used it, but it's got an invert circuit on the preamp, but you can't turn the supply on. Uh, you can't, basically what I'm saying is you can't turn the relay off so you can use that feature. But basically, if you add it, basically, this is just hypothetically, if you added an extra switch on here, and put use that switch for the relay to where you could turn the supply on and the relay off to go into barefoot mode but still have the supply on you could turn the preamp on and use it barefoot because it does have an invert circuit built into it but i don't know maybe they just had them made up and they just grabbed one and threw one on there but preamp works great real neat amplifier you'll see that once i open the top like i said it's brand spanking new if you ever have any problems in the future with these DEIs, all you got to do is just take them out, throw four Toshibas in or, or whatever you want in. But uh, you'll probably get a look. Well, I know for sure you'll get a little bit more out of it. Because uh, right now all we're getting is about, about 400 watts or so, 450 watts. I'm going to show the RMS using this radio right here. And I'm actually going to unhook that and hook up the hot radio because it's actually getting a little bit more PEP out of it. But, uh, so here we go. We're, uh, we're on a thousand watt slug. Okay. RMS. Go. Oh. That's about 150 watts RMS. Go over to PEP. Oh, about 420. Okay. That striker radio is probably getting close to overdriving it. So, uh, let me hook up the, uh, give me one second. This will make a good driver. It's got a really low dead key, so you can use the dead key variable on your radio and set the dead key exactly where you want it. This will make a good driver for a uh, 12 pill. Real good driver for a 12 pill, possibly a little 10 pill. It uh, tickles a 16 pretty well. And a uh, good thing about it, you can put that thing on uh, SSB there and you're in AB bias mode and uh, you're linear. I mean, you're regulated too, so you can take that bad boy up to the sideband and hell up to 10 meters to all y'all ham operators. <laughs> uh, 
let's take this uh, mic out. I'm sorry about this. I thought I remembered it was showing a little bit more PP with this radio right here. I need to have me a small driver. Small, sm smaller than my one I got up here, like a little 2290 or 1446 driver around here. All right. All right. All right, this is what my hot radio right here on the bottom, Stickman Tune 29. No. Oh, yeah, see, I, I thought so. That's, uh, because it seems like what's happening is that Striker's just kind of overdriving it a bit. It's kind of bottoming it out, but, uh, that was right there about close to 500 watts. Let's see if I can get that to. No. I got my dead key turned down to about one watt on my radio, and it's got virtually almost no dead key. So that's, that's what I'm saying. It's got a good low dead key. You can uh, ease your dead key up on your radio and set the dead key on this bad boy to right where you want it. <clears throat> oh. My throat's messing up. <laughs> <sighs> Then RMS probably won't be doing that much over a hundred with this much this low a drive. Oh, oh, yep. I think so. so there you go. That's driving eight watts RMS, which is about 35, 40 watts PEP. These are DEIs in this bad boy. That's why you ain't seeing no crazy watts out of it. If these are uh, Toshiba's, you probably would have seen close to 700 watts, possibly 650 at least, out of uh, that uh, striker. Let me pop the tin off here real quick just to show you the inside. This, 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 this is the only reason why I didn't really want to get rid of it. It wasn't because of the performance of it or anything. It's me being a, a builder and all. And I like to see the way other people do things, you know. It's all a, it's all an art, a hobby to me. Alright, let me unplug this. No, I've already unplugged it, okay. So this is a base amplifier. The supply is built inside of it. There's the back right there. You got your... Um, Got your breaker right there. If anything happens, that'll go off. I got a quick disconnect right here. Give me one second. Wires right here. All right, there we go. All righty, here's your fan. No need for a regulator since the uh, since the supply is regulated. Voila. This thing does have some relays in it, don't it, fellas? <laughs> There's your preamp with the invert circuit. There's your SSB delay. I don't know why they didn't use the same size relay for the uh, AB bias, but here's your AB bias. We all know why, because they're using the ground and everything of that, but Here's your AB bias relay, there's your main relay. And as you see, you take a look at that LM7, LM, um, 
what is it, 7905, 7805, I think 7805. It's with the bias circuit, big 25 watt resistor. So that makes that pretty much a regulated AB bias circuit. Pretty neat. One stage higher than what I have done so far. There's about two more stages to go. <laughs> if you want tracking and all that good stuff, which I'm, that's where I'm headed. Nice clean build. Fresh from Fat Boy. Four matching DEI 2290s. I like the way they did their chokes here. It looks pretty neat the way they done that. So, uh, it is what it is. I like the way they... Now, let me show you the supply. Here's the way they done the supply. <laughs> They had to uh, slim down on the, the heat sink here to get everything to fit in here well. And if they would have put this in this size box, which is what I probably would have done, they could have left the heat sink the way it was. But this is a very high quality supply right here as well. Okay, this ain't no cheap supply from eBay. It's a very high quality supply. So there she be. It is what it is. AB bias, regulated AB bias, SSB. You're going to have a great SSB delay too with the use of this uh, relay. I figured out that trip trick about a year ago. <laughs> but I got another trick up my sleeve I'm working on too. Which is going to make the SSB delay almost to where you can control how long the delay is. What do you think about that? I'm going to show a quick glance because we got another real neat one. I'm about to, to do a video. That's all I'm going to show. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, here's your chance to get a four transistor DEI 2290 base with a regulated supply in it. If you're smart, you could, well, there ain't a lot of room. I was about to say that you could throw your two bolts on the back and use the supply by itself. There's not a lot of room for that unless you want to do it on the front right here. You could throw your two bolts right there and run it from the supply here. You'd have to add you, add you another switch to turn this relay, the main relay, on manually. But you could use the supply by itself if you wanted to. So it is what it is. Brand new. Never used. I mean, you can take a look at it and tell. There's no dust on it at all. First time I keyed up was right now. So, all right, man, I got to get going to the next thing. I don't really know what, what I'm going to ask for it or not. I know how much they sell for. It ain't cheap. But I will give a discount just because I got a decent deal on it. I ain't like some people are. And I need it sold quick, too. We'll see you.